coming up on today's episode of Airborne Uncrewed. FAA diverts on eVTOL certification. DJI's new Mini Pro 3 drone. And drone fishing is getting caught in a net. Hi, I'm Holland Lee. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Uncrewed program, a weekly news program covering all things uncrewed, in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Uncrewed Vehicle Systems International. Let's get into today's stories. FAA diverts on eVTOL certification. Recognizing the importance of keeping abreast of the technological developments in the industry, the FAA is reconsidering its approach to the certification of eVTOLs. On December 16, 2016, the FAA published the final rule representing an overhaul of airworthiness standards for GA airplanes, specifically in an attempt to enable faster adoption of, quote, innovative safety-enhancing technologies into small airplanes while reducing costs for the aviation industry, end quote. These new Part 23 standards were directed at less than or equal to 1919 airplanes, that's 19,000 pounds and 19 passengers, and integrating consensus-based compliance for design and technologies. Also included were provisions for loss of control and in-flight icing conditions. eVTOL developers and manufacturers previously operated under a wing and a prayer in the hopes that their offerings would be certified under this new, since 2016, rule, particularly since it was developed in partnership with industry representatives at the table. Apparently, the new acting administrator of the FAA is engaging reverse thrusters, and as such, this causes great consternation for industry hopefuls looking to make their Jetsons pedal jumpers and training aircraft a reality. It was hoped that this new framework translated into an agile aircraft certification process that is in step with innovation. And after the break, what's the Pentagon cooking? Drones! Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. In the next Uncrewed Minute, let's take a look at some shorter stories making the rounds of the uncrewed vehicle communities. What's the Pentagon cooking? Drones. Science fiction is slowly becoming science fact as the U.S. Pentagon's Joint Counter Small Unmanned Systems Office recently completed a round of demonstrations using high-power microwave technology to simultaneously neutralize multiple drone threats. In mid-February 2022, the Pentagon was involved in the testing and evaluation of counter-small unmanned aircraft systems. In late 2019, the U.S. Army was tasked with running point on the CSUAS operations and twice yearly, spring and fall, conducts tests and fixes gaps for the next run. Paper Wings Competition – Affordable Flying The 2022 Red Bull Paper Wing World Finals has concluded in Salzburg, Austria. The event began on Friday the 13th with preliminary elimination rounds for longest airtime and distance, then elimination for aerobatics, yes, you read that correctly, paper airplane aerobatics on Saturday morning, with the superfinals later that day. Top finisher for longest distance, 200 feet, Lazar Kristic of Serbia. In the longest airtime division, 14.86 seconds won it for Rana Muhammad Usman of Saeed, Pakistan. The aerobatic winner with 46 points was Sung Hoon Lee of Korea. Wingcopter 198 receives SCA from FAA. 
Wingcopter has reached a significant milestone in the trajectory of their winged eight-engine drone, having received a special class airworthiness certification from the FAA. An interesting feature of the 198 is the fact that it utilizes tilt rotor technology, which lends itself to greater maneuverability and stability, unlike many of its fixed prop counterparts. The Wingcopter 198, billed as the world's first triple drop delivery drone, is now potentially on track to achieve type certification to engage in regular operation in the United States. Shh, Joby testing aircraft noise. Joby Aviation has successfully demonstrated a low noise profile as confirmed with testing by NASA in California. Joby Aviation's test bird traveling at 100 knots apparently met the low noise targets it had set, allegedly something in the vicinity of 45.2 decibels at an altitude of 1,640 feet. A noise level Joby believes, quote, will be barely perceptible against the ambient environment of cities, end quote. Well, that was our uncrewed minute. Now back to the rest of the news. DJI's new Mini Pro 3 drone. DJI recently launched its DJI Mini 3 Pro, a palmable device weighing a tad over half a pound, featuring tri-directional obstacle sensing, true vertical shooting, focus track, and 4K HDR video. HDR is a feature that allegedly shoots videos with higher contrast and more colors than standard video, and playback is similarly so, depending on equipment capabilities. It folds out from its collapsible compact form like its larger siblings, with the exception being that this one can probably fit in your pocket. DJI promises extended flight time of just over 30 minutes, however, with the Intelligent Flight Battery Plus, you may expect a bit above 45 minutes. In 1080p video shooting, you can expect 120 frames per second, 60 FOS for 4K video, and 48 megapixel photos. A note about the tri-directional obstacle sensing, you have 120 degrees forward and ground views, and less than 90 degrees in reverse without ground view. Apparently, the Mini 3 Pro is controllable via the DJI RC11 or the new RC, both of which offer a maximum video bitrate of 18 megabytes with a latency of about 120 milliseconds. Recorded content transfer can be done via Wi-Fi, and as is usually the case, a range of accessories can be used with the device, battery, charging hub, and ND filters. And after these messages, drone fishing is getting caught in a net. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Drone fishing is getting caught in a net. The Hawaiian fishing community is awaiting the outcome of Governor David Ige's actions regarding the use of drones to fish in or near the state's waters. Mr. Ige, governor of Hawaii, is expected to either vote yes or veto Senate Bill SB 2065, which has already passed Hawaii's House of Representatives and its Senate earlier this month. SB 2065 permits the use of drones for, quote, simple reconnaissance, and those wishing to use a drone for the approved purpose must then apply to the Department of Land and Natural Resources for a permit. Apparently, there has been an increase in the use of drones to fish offshore, and DLNR has raised environmental as well as safety concerns over wildlife and people being caught in fishing lines, in addition to ocean debris from abandoned or broken equipment. Numerous points of contention have arisen. Unfair banning without regulation, negative impact on substance fishers, regulation is not the answer, responsible fishing is or should be. 
The state legislature recommended some amendments be made to the bill, which will be sent back for a floor vote. If passed, SB 2065 will take effect immediately, as will the penalties for violations, the levying of a $10,000 fine, and a year in jail. And that's our program for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.